I have no clue what I'm doing. I am literally just making this up as I go. Yay! Welcome back to Factor 85 Labs. Just have a quick little project today. Got this old brush hook or brush axe or bush axe, uh, whatever you call it. And I want to fix it up, put a new handle on it. If we can't fix the blade up, it's got a few little dings. The tip is kind of bent over, uh, a few little chips in there. If you've never used a brush axe like this, uh, they're pretty handy. I've used this one uh, quite a bit when I was much younger. I probably put quite a few of those dings in there because I didn't know what I was doing when I was a kid. Swung this at all sorts of stuff that it probably shouldn't have been swung at. So uh, I'm going to try and fix it up now and get a new handle on it and use it for what it was meant to be used for. Just going to throw the device here and cut this handle off. See if I can get the pieces of the handle out. washer that was used as a wedge and it did not want to come out so that was in there screwdrivers aren't made for that guys don't don't use your screwdrivers for hammering on let's see if uh, we can get this thing undone that was surprisingly easy Okay, so to get the rust off this thing, just got a little plastic tub, and I'm just going to put all my parts in the tub. This just about fits down in there. Should be good. There's that little metal strap. Throw in the nut and the bolt. And throw in the washer too. Why not? Then I'm going to pour white vinegar over top of this just to cover everything. You guys just watch that uh, for the next 24 hours. I will be back. And we're back. The container is slightly more full than when we left. That's because rust causes vinegar to expand. Nope, that's a lie. I added more vinegar. So if you look at that, there are areas here where the rust has just come off in chunks. So let's take a brush and we'll just go over this. This is just wiping off, but we'll just go over it and knock off the stuff that's still stuck on here. rinse this off with some water and dry it off here let's see what it looks like if I was smart I would have gotten the nuts and bolts out of there before I scrubbed the blade and turned that vinegar all brown oops Okay, so now that I have wiped it down with some 
WD-40. Let's take a look at it. Just look at it! If anyone cares, there's the only markings on there. It There's E, there's a T, a little bit of a W, and then it says medium. It's actually still pretty sharp. If focus up there, there we go. Still pretty sharp, but it does have these little we can focus. Little nicks and dings here. I'll just I'll just keep my hand there. There we go. And the end of the blade has got quite a little wackadoodle going. I'll just throw this in the vise and I've got some files. See if we can't file this out, get it back into shape so we can put it back on the handle. knocked down all the rough spots got that tip straightened out and then I just took a little uh, diamond stone and went along and made sure all the burrs were gone so it's back in decent shape and it's fairly sharp and I know you probably are leaving a comment telling me that that is not how you sharpen this but that's what I had to sharpen it with, so. You know how when you go in an old house, how all the doorways just seem too skinny, and you wonder, how did people fit in these doors? It's because people used to be thinner. That's true of axe handles, too. They just used to be thinner. No, that's not true at all. This axe handle just needs is a little wide, so I just need to trim a little bit off here. We'll just... Uh, Kind of shave this down, come back and it should fit right in there. So this is as far as the handle will go in there. It is most of the way up, but that's as far as I can hammer it on. So, let's put this ring back on here, and then we'll put a wedge in there. Let this dry up, come back out in the morning, we'll trim this handle off once that glue is dried, and we'll be good to go. Give this thing a try. Now we just got to give it a try, make sure it still works. I don't know how much brush that needs to be cut, but I've got this big tree branch that fell down last week.
you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, hit subscribe. I upload a video just about every week. Some sort of something, whether it's a project like this, or a review, or a cooking video. It's something every week. Thanks for watching. See you next time.